night, the terror begins again. Here we are, prepared pretty much to do the mold. Hey guys, so the first step was to brush on a really thin layer, just to make sure you got into all the cracks. So as you can see, we have done, and Kai's just finishing that up. Hey people, so um, we've started this second layer. I think we're gonna um, mix another batch up for this, but um, it's looking pretty good. We're making sure to get all these undercuts, these edges, because after this we're going to burlap, and that's gonna be really hard to get into those areas. We're finishing up Kai is specifically his side needed a little more work um, with that um, second layer. We had a pretty thick consistency material so that we could just handle all the undercuts so that um, we don't end up with air bubbles when we put the burlap on. So um, he's finishing that up. So as you can see here, we've kind of done the basic dry fitting. Looks like some guy in a hood. Anyways, of all the burlap pieces, it's not covering up the whole thing, but we'll have the two layers that do cover up the whole thing, so I'm not too concerned. So um, here we are after the first two layers of burlap. We did the ones that you saw being dry fit, and then we put just a sheet over the whole thing, except for it wouldn't reach this arm. So um, we'll do the other one, not have it be on that arm, and only have it be on this arm to kind of even things up. I'm not too worried about the arms in terms of strength, because we'll have those cross beams and stuff. So as you can see, we um, added the frame, and we burlapped that in. So um, next we're mixing up a batch right now. Um, that we'll use, we're just gonna do one section at a time. So we're gonna do the knee, upper knee um, to the feet. And we're gonna finish that off, make it nice and thick and smooth. And then we'll just go through the whole thing, making it sexy. Hey guys, so um, as you can see, we've added a bunch to the leg and all the way up to here. And now we're just gonna do that with the head. And then we'll be about good. Normally we try to get our molds nice and smooth so they don't cut people, but it's just a little challenging on this scale. So um, as you can see, we got the mold down. Um, yeah, that was an endeavor. Ooh, spider. Now we just need to flip it over and start digging out all the um, clay. We got it flipped over. Had to get rid of a wall of the shed. It's okay though, because the shed was just built out of wall panels for the purpose of making this mold. So we're kind of at that point. And now we're just cleaning it out. I think we're gonna call it quits for the day. Um, yeah, we're trying to get those hands nice and soaking to get the stuff out. And I've been pretty successful in there with the feet. Just as a note, if you end up with areas like this, where the burlap is far away from the plaster, before you take the clay out, you should try to fill that up with plaster so that then you don't end up with it caving in. In some areas we can see that that was present, like here, see that we ended up with cave-ins. We'll be able to fix that in post on the mold, but that's not going to be very fun. So a few days have passed, um, me and Kai got busy with school, but now we're back to work cleaning out this mold. I'm not so stoked about the way these hands are turning out or all the issues we had with the casting like we have things like that that I really think could have been avoided um, so those will have to patch up and post so yeah that's not very good but here we you can kind of see the hand how it turned out uh, it's not going to be the most three-dimensional hand I might try to apply hands afterwards to these guys or somehow add to the mold to redo that section. I'm not sure, but for now we're gonna leave it this way and at least get one casting out of it the way it is. Hey guys, it's Kai here. Um, we got the mold entirely cleaned out for the most part. Um, and then we, we lifted it up from the ground on these saw horses and um, then we kind of like cleaned out all the water that we got in it with these rags because we used a hose to clean out and then our next step is going to be mix up some more plaster and then fill up all these little holes that we ended up with um, just from not being very good at molding, you know, but it's okay. We're going to fix it. 
All right, so we're trying to get the last of the water out of the mold, and we have like very professional methods for doing that. So, yeah, there you go. Hey guys, so we started applying little patches. Um, I think you can kind of see that the whiter area are some of the areas that we patched. I've started doing that one on the foot. Need to smooth that out a little bit more, but um, yeah, it's going pretty well, working pretty well. We might. Oh yeah, there's a patch there too. And it ends up a little bit rougher than normal, so we might try to sand it down with some high grit sandpaper afterwards. But yeah, we're pretty happy with the results. Hey guys, it's Sam. Anyway, so as you can see, we've done a lot of work on that mold. We still have a few more things to do. Yeah, we're gonna um, do a couple more repairs on the mold when we're almost done. And then we'll kind of pull out of the next episode. So um, stay tuned for that. Hopefully that'll be out in the next week or so. Just when you catch um, your breath, thanks for watching. it starts all over again.